Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. So on Monday, I'm flying off to Prague for a couple of nights with my girlfriends and I'm so, so excited. And one of my favorite things to do when I'm going away is pack because I can organize all the things that I want to take and I just, I find it really therapeutic. I don't know if that's me. Um, I know some people find it very stressful. I find it really like cool and therapeutic and just gets me even more excited to go away because I can plan my outfits and stuff. So we're flying with EasyJet and I'm only allowed to take one piece of hand luggage with me. So I'm gonna take this little suitcase here. It's the smallest suitcase that you can take on board and it, it sort of adheres to the measurement guidelines that they provide you. So I'm gonna show you today what I'll be taking away with me to Prague. And I thought this video might help you if you, like me, are going away as well and are only taking hand luggage. And maybe it can give you some ideas on how to sort of organize and sort out your clothes and the things that you're gonna take away with you. This is all the makeup that I'm taking with me. Um, it's quite condensed, so it's kind of like my essentials really. And the foundation that I'm gonna take is this new one, which is by Too Faced, and it's the Born This Way foundation. This is really kind of high coverage, but it's really beautiful on the skin. And I feel like it just gives me a very flawless base. So I love this and we'll be taking this with me. And because I've got a few scars and a few dark spots, I also need to conceal. So I'm taking away the Illamasqua Skin Base Light Concealer. That's excellent. I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And I like this because I've got such a kind of great choice of powders, there's six in here. I like this because it's very compact. And then for my cheeks, I'm taking Max Margin. It's kind of a very neutral blush, which is gonna help me because I'm taking away lots of different kind of lip colors. So that's nice. And I'm also taking away another blush because one wasn't enough. And this is Rimmel's Santa Rose. And again, this is very, very similar, but a little bit more peachy. I'm taking away my trusty NARS Pro Prime eyeshadow primer. And then the eyeshadow palette that I decided to take is also new to me. And it's the Zoeva Cocoa Blend palette. And oops. <laughs> I just love these shades. Eyeliners, I'm taking these three. I'm taking the number seven one, which I absolutely just swear by. Also a liquid eyeliner by La Masca, and then I've got a brown one from Avon. It's their Glimmer Stick in Cosmic Brown, just for my bottom lash line, because I don't like to do that in black. I find it's too harsh. And then I'm taking this mascara by Maybelline. And then for my lips, I've got quite a few options here. First of all, I'm gonna take Max Lip Liner in Strip Down. I'm just gonna swatch this so you can see what that looks like. This is NYX Lingerie um, Liquid Lipstick in, what is it, Ruffle Trim. I've been enjoying this so much. I'm also gonna take Max Mocha, which is actually really, really similar to um, Ruffle Trim, but it's um, a lipstick and um, it's much more moisturizing as well. And then I'm taking Maybelline's Color Drama in New Perfection just because I love wearing this. This also has great stain power. And then I'm gonna take a classic red, which for me is NARS Cruella. So that's really gorgeous. And then I'm gonna put the makeup into this makeup holder, which I picked up from Primark a couple of years ago. Really, really handy. Um, there's three pockets here, the top pocket, a middle pocket and a bottom pocket. <laughs> So I'm just gonna pop my contact lenses in here. They're nice and flat. Well, I've got this little Bambi um, little case here and actually it's really perfect for all my brushes and things. So I'm gonna pop it in here. With hand luggage, you're only allowed to take 10 containers or bottles of 100 mils worth of liquid. So I literally am um, just so restricted here. It's just really stressful so this actually isn't Clinique I've popped a bit of my Nivea double effect eye makeup remover into my empty Clinique bottle and this really is the best makeup eye makeup remover ever really really good I've got a cleanser here it's a milk cleanser and actually I've done the same here I've taken this Anne French deep cleansing deep cleansing milk popped it in this empty Darfan bottle and this literally is the best um, cleanser that I've ever used so um, I've got that in here in my little Darfan bottle this makes me so sad, I'm just really distressed because I would take a lot more, I use a lot more stuff on my face at night. So my edited down version is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. I don't have the space to take an, um, an eye serum as well, so this is going to have to do my whole face and my under eye. And then I'm taking this moisturiser, it's from Caudalie and it's a face lifting soft cream. This is going to have to do me for my night cream and my day cream and I'm lucky because this hasn't got any SPF in it so I can use it for my night cream. I've just popped a bit of my Garnier body moisturiser into this little pot here and um, this is the best body moisturiser ever. And then I've got my floss which I've got from Primark. I've got my little toothbrush here. I'm not going to take my electric one, I think this one will be fine. And then I've got my Colgate little, I think this is a freebie from somewhere, 
um, just Colgate toothpaste, this will last me a couple of nights and we'll be fine. And then um, I've got these, uh, no, what is it, Lidl's um, soft makeup pads. I haven't included a shampoo, conditioner or body wash in here because um, the hotel we're staying is actually providing us with Loxetan products. So um, if I wasn't staying at that particular hotel, I would of course include them in here. What I'll also do is separate out the liquids because I've got to present that um, when we go through like the airport security scanners. So when it comes to packing for clothes, I always start off with knickers, um, thongs, bras and then socks. Um, those are just like the absolute essentials for me, like even if I lost all my other clothes, as long as I had clean undies, I would be like, okay, I'd be able to cope. So um, even though this is called a bikini bag, I've actually got all my undies in here. I like to keep them separate basically from the rest of um, like the stuff in the bag. And then I've got some new socks, which I picked up at Tesco's yesterday. So I've got this t-shirt that I like to sleep in. It's from Hawaii and I love like picking up t-shirts with the names of places that I've been to because it's just a really nice kind of sentimental reminder. And I've got my eye mask. I need complete like blackoutness when I'm sleeping. I can't have any light. I'm like a vampire, like otherwise I can't sleep. So got my eye mask there, it's a cat eye mask. And then I've got some sort of very light pink um, jogging bottoms that I like to sleep in and just lounge in from Ancient M. And then I've got some fleecy little tootsie footsy um, little slippers here. The hotel that we're staying at has a spa, so I'm taking this bikini and then I'm taking this sundress as well just to throw over the top of it. So currently in Prague tonight it's minus one degree Celsius, which is pretty cold. So what is it going to be like when I get there? It's the average temperature looks about four or five degrees Celsius, so it's really rather cold. So bearing in mind that it's freezing cold in Prague, I am going to be wearing trousers. I'm not even going to bother taking skirts and faffing around with tights. I'm just going to go with trousers. Uh, I'm going to take my Zara skinny jeans, which are really comfy, and I'm also going to take these new black trousers, which I got from Zara. I just love these zips. Because it's so cold, I think I'm going to need to layer. So I'm going to start off by taking three cami tops with me. And then over the camis, I'm going to take some long sleeve, let me show you the sleeve, some long sleeve tops. And then I'm going to take two jumpers for during the daytime and um, I like this one because it's quite Christmassy and festive and you know it's December so I want to get all the glittery stuff out. And then I'm going to take this pink jumper which I bought recently from H&M. So that's the daytime sorted and if we go out for a few drinks in the evening or go for dinner uh, we can go back to the hotel and what I'll do is I'll change into a nice shirt. I will also take this black shirt. Um, this is quite nice, it's quite delicate and I can wear a nice um, like gold necklace around here. And then I think I'm also going to take a cardigan. Um, this cardigan's just from Topshop, it's just a long cardigan so I can layer that over the top. And the coat that I'm going to take is this oatmeal coloured duffel coat from Zara and I've had this for about a year now and it's so incredibly warm, it's the warmest coat that I own. I'm going to take a pair of gloves as well to keep my fingers nice and warm and then I'll also take my gorgeous um, scarf. I probably won't pack these because I'll obviously wear them to the airport. The two pairs of shoes I'm going to take with me are a pair of trainers and a pair of boots. These are my Gazelle Adidas um, suede trainers. They are so comfy. There's a nice um, bit of arch support here, which I need because I've got quite high arches. And um, I guess we're going to be exploring the city and walking around Prague a lot, so I need really comfy shoes. So um, I'm going to wear these during the day. And then if we go out in the evening, I'm going to take my um, office studded boots with me. And what I'm going to do is pop the shoes into plastic bags so that the dirt and stuff doesn't come off onto my clothes while it's in the suitcase. So I'm gonna take these hair curvy grips, pop them in here. I'm gonna pick up these, um, what are these, cotton buds. Good for eye makeup, you know, smudge when you smudge your mascara all over your eye, which I always do. Uh, I'm gonna take these little hair bands. Uh, I'm taking um, some paracetamol and I'm gonna take some Rennie. And then I'm also gonna pop in here my Guerlain perfume. And this is like a tiny little sample, um, but it's great because it's just an easy way of carrying perfume. On to earrings. So I'm taking gold and silver because I tend to wear both. Um, and I'm taking big options and small options. So I'm taking these dangly silver um, earrings and then I'm taking these gold dangly ones. 
So depending on my outfit, I can wear gold or silver. And then I'm taking two lots of studs. Um, these are just gold ones. And then these are just like silver. And then I'm gonna take my ears, because whenever I put my makeup on, I like to sort of have these on. I'm gonna take this silver um, chunky kind of necklace and also this um, rather bling a ding a ling um, necklace because I think that'll go with my pink jumper. I'm gonna take this crab clip and then I'm taking my brush as well. It's just a general paddle brush. We're now gonna pack what I would call the really, really, really important stuff, such as your passport. You definitely need to be packing your passport, otherwise you won't really be leaving the country. Um, I've also got my vaccination record here. Now, can you believe that I've got this bag with some brushes? It looks like a proper nice clutch bag. So um, I always like to put this in here. And then I'm going to take my money got my GHD straighteners here which I can straighten my hair with or curl European plug socket thing an Apple charger got my camera charger two extra batteries I've also got a selfie stick and I like to put all my electrical items into this big bag here which actually looks like a toiletry bag because obviously um, I don't want people to see what I've got inside here And the last couple of things that I'm going to pack are two plastic bags which I'll use for my dirty laundry because I obviously want to keep those clothes separate from my clean clothes. And I'm also going to take this um, Longchamp bag. Basically the flight that we're catching home is with a different carrier and we're allowed to take cabin luggage. So what I'll do is I will check in my black suitcase and then I can take this as hand luggage. So I hope you found this video useful guys, it was certainly funny trying to like cram it all in and do the zips up but um, I think for me that's a really realistic way of how I pack my stuff and also let me know if you're going away this winter or in the next couple of months, are you going to get some winter sun, are you going on a city break, um, I would love to hear where you, where you guys are kind of going and planning on visiting and if you've been to Prague let me know what bars or places I should go and visit, any shopping areas, um, any sort of natural beautiful areas I should go and see because um, like I said I've never been there before so I would totally take your recommendations and hopefully go and see all the places that you say are really good to go. Um, I think there'll be a new weekend vlog up. Actually I'll do a vlog of when we're in Prague. How about that? I take you guys along with me. Will you like that? If you would leave me a comment down below and I will certainly do that for you. Thanks so much for your love, support and your well wishes. Giving you a big hug and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye!